Close the fuel oil inlet valve. Close the cooling water inlet valve. Close the cooling water outlet valve. Loosen the screws from the cooling water outlet pipe. Remove the cooling water outlet pipe from the engine. Remove the fuel oil high pressure pipes from the engine. Remove the high pressure pipe. See procedure 9081. Remove the oil return pipe from the exhaust valve. Loosen the drain oil pipe. Dismount the starting air pipe from the cylinder cover. Dismount the control air pipe from the starting valve. Remove the protective jacket from the intermediate pipe between the exhaust receiver and the exhaust valve. Remove the intermediate pipe. Remove the protective caps from the cylinder cover nuts. Place eight hydraulic jack supports, one around each nut, and screw the eight hydraulic jacks onto the studs. See procedure 9131. Connect the high pressure pump to the jacks by means of the distributor block and the high pressure hoses. Start the hydraulic pump and increase the pressure as stated in datasheet 1011. Loosen the nuts by applying the Tommy bar through the slots in the hydraulic jack supports. Relieve the pressure. Remove the hydraulic tools from the studs. Unscrew the nuts.
Hook the engine room crane on the lifting attachment on top of the exhaust valve and lift away the cylinder cover. Lift the cylinder cover with the engine room crane. Mount the tilting tool in the two holes for the cylinder cover studs close to the neighbouring cylinder cover opposite to the starting valve. Mount the lifting tool in the two cylinder cover stud holes on the opposite side of the exhaust valve housing. Hook onto the lifting with a strap. Lift the cylinder cover with the engine room crane for approximately 45 degrees. Apply pressure by hand to the exhaust valve housing while lowering the engine room crane in order to tilt the cylinder cover into a horizontal position and place a wooden plank to support the exhaust valve housing. Thoroughly clean the bottom of the cylinder cover. Turn the cylinder cover to vertical position and remove the lifting straps. Remove the tilting tool from the cylinder cover. Remove the cooling water pipe. Remove the protective caps from the exhaust valve studs. See procedure 908-2. Mount the hydraulic tools on the exhaust valve studs. Start the hydraulic pump and increase the pressure as stated in datasheet 108.2.
loosen the nuts by applying the tommy bar through the slots in the hydraulic jack supports. Relieve the pressure. Remove the hydraulic tools. Remove the hydraulic nuts. Attach the crane to the eye bolt in the exhaust valve. Lift away the exhaust valve. Remove the exhaust valve studs. Use the stud setter. Remove the indicator valve. Remove the ceiling ring. Remove the oil return pipes from the fuel valves. Remove the fuel valves from cylinder cover. Remove the fuel valve studs. Remove the starting air valve. Remove the studs. Mount four eye bolts in the cylinder cover. Attach the engine room crane to the chains. Remove the four screws which secure the cooling jacket to the cylinder cover. Lift the cylinder cover free of the cooling jacket and land it on a couple of planks. Remove and discard the O-rings from the cover.
Carefully clean the cylinder cover and the cooling jacket. Lubricate the new O-rings with lubricating oil. Mount the O-rings on the cylinder cover. Lift the cylinder cover and guide the jacket and cover into position. Use the guide pin on the camshaft side as reference. Mount and tighten the screws for the cooling jacket. Clean the fuel valve bores using the carbon cutter. Grind the seating with the grinding mandrel and a grinding compound, for example, carborundum number 200. Clean the fuel valve bores. Clean the exhaust valve bore. Grind the exhaust valve bore seating with the grinding mandrel and a grinding compound, for example, carborundum number 200. Clean the exhaust valve bore. Clean the starting air bore, use the carbon cutter. Grind the seating with the grinding mandrel and a grinding compound, for example, carborundum number 200. Clean the starting valve bore. Lubricate the exhaust valve stud threads with Never Seize or Molybdenum disulfide.
mount the exhaust valve studs in cylinder cover. Position the valve in the cylinder cover bore, guiding it in accordance with the exhaust flanges and the guide pin on the exhaust side of the exhaust valve. See procedure 9082. Lubricate the exhaust valve stud threads with Never Seize or Molybdenum disulfide. Mount the nuts. Mount the hydraulic tools. See procedure 9131. Start the hydraulic pump and increase the pressure as stated in datasheet 1082 and tighten the nuts. Remove the hydraulic tool and mount the protective caps on the studs. Lubricate the starting valve stud threads with Never Seize or Molybdenum disulfide. Mount the studs. Mount the starting valve, see procedure 9072. Sir? Tighten the nuts. See data sheet 1072. Lubricate the fuel valve stud threads with Never Seize or Molybdenum disulfide and mount the studs. Lubricate the fuel valves with Molybdenum disulfide. Mount the fuel valves. Tighten the nuts according to data sheet 10911. Mount the oil return pipe. Lubricate the threads for indicator valve. Mount a new ceiling ring and mount the indicator valve. Mount the cooling water pipe. Place a new ceiling ring on top of the cylinder liner with the guide tabs in the fore and aft direction. Lower the cover carefully into position. Mount the cooling water connections. 
carefully check that the cooling water connection pipes engage correctly with the holes in the cooling jacket. Lubricate the studs with molybdenum disulfide. Mount the nuts. Mount the hydraulic tools. See the procedure 9131. Start the hydraulic pump and increase the pressure as stated in datasheet 1011 and tighten the nuts. Remove the hydraulic tools and mount the protective caps on all studs. Tighten the oil return pipe. Mount the control air pipe. Mount the starting air pipe. Mount the intermediate pipe between the exhaust receiver and the exhaust valve. Mount the protective jacket. Mount the cooling water pipes. Tighten the oil return pipe on the exhaust valve. Mount the exhaust high pressure pipe. See procedure 9081. Tighten according to data sheet 1081. Mount the fuel oil high pressure pipes. See procedure 90914. Tighten the pipes. See datasheet 10914.